Jiggle's timesheets enable you to identify patterns, analyze time spent on projects, and improve time utilization. I'm Lisa, let's go over Jiggle's timesheet features in more detail. Once your team members start tracking time in Jibble, you can view their timesheets to see how much time they've worked for and what they've been working on. Jibble processes all tracked hours in real time so you can monitor and analyze employee productivity on-site or remotely. On the Timesheets tab, you will see a list of members and their time entries recorded. At a glance, you'll be able to see how many hours your team members have worked in a day and who has worked over time. These will be marked in red. Navigate to get daily, weekly, or monthly timesheets, and filter for total tracked hours per day to see if someone has worked more or less hours than usual. You can also filter timesheets by groups and work schedules. Hover over a time to view the first in, last out, and regular hours tracked for that day. To get a detailed view of time entries recorded, click on the time and you'll see the different activities and projects someone has worked on for the day and how much time was spent on each activity or project so you can understand where time and costs are going. You will also see icons on the time entries which tell you whether the Jibble was done offline, with or without a GPS location, an automatic Jibble out, or whether it was a manual entry. If you have members working in different time zones, you can choose to get a view of their time entries based on your time zone or the respective member's time zone. Lastly, you can also add time manually for your team members by selecting a particular day and clicking on Add Time Entry. You'll have the option to add either a time entry or an hour entry. Then, enter an activity and project and click Save to log time. If you prefer to simply see the hours worked by your team members, click on the payroll view to get a breakdown of their track time. All this data can be exported to CSV or XLS format by clicking the export button. The exported timesheet displays the various multiplier rates such as billable rates and daily overtime rates, so you can get timesheets that are payroll ready to help you automatically calculate worked hours and overtimes. Under the Approval section, pay periods can be set to determine the time frame over which your team member's time is recorded and paid for. You can click on a time to get a detailed view of time entries recorded during that time frame, navigate to get timesheets of other members, and approve timesheets for payroll. You can also reopen approved timesheets if any changes need to be made. On the Time Off page, you can see an Add Time Off request for your members that go straight into timesheets. Navigate to today, upcoming and past, and filter by groups or type of policy to view the time off requested. Alternatively, you can go to timesheets to view when someone will be away. Time off will be marked as TO. Work schedules are an essential component for accurate timesheets. On the work schedules page, you can set up a work schedule to define when your team members should be tracking time. Choose between a fixed, flexible, or a weekly work schedule. From here, you can schedule paid or unpaid breaks and use auto-deduction to subtract breaks automatically from payroll hours. Overtime rules can be set by toggling the different types of overtime such as rest day and public holiday overtime. Then, set a threshold of either hours or time for overtime to start. Choosing the overtime rules here will ensure data is tabulated correctly when you export timesheets. You can also assign specific locations to a work schedule so that members are only allowed to track time within these locations, if geofence is required. Lastly, assign members to the work schedule. You can add as many work schedules as you wish. On the Locations page, you can add different locations that function as geofences. Type in an address, adjust the prefilled coordinates if needed, and set a radius to increase location accuracy. With geofencing, team members will not be able to clock in if they are out of the set radius. On the Time Tracking Settings page, you can set restrictions based on your company's policies. For time clock restrictions, you can either choose from our presets, flexible, moderate or strict, or customize your own restrictions. Adding work schedule restrictions allows you to restrict the extent to which members are allowed to clock in or out before or after their fixed work schedule time. 
You can also set reminders so team members get notified to clock in or out and set auto clock out if necessary. On the reports tab, you will get an overview of your team's activity. The report summarizes all data and breaks it down by any category you require. You can then export this data in CSV or XLS format. I hope this overview has helped you better understand Jibble's timesheet feature. Be sure to give us a try and reach out to us if you have any questions.